How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I wanted to do just a little quick video on the tracks electric tackers. I'm going to have one of those for giveaway come December. And um, this one right here is going to be the one I give away. So that's the one I'm going to talk about right there. We've already done a video on this one and I really liked this one. So we're going to talk about this one right here. Um, maybe in comparison to that one and my traditional duo fast over there. Um, right off the bat here, let me turn this around here. Uh, let me get this set up here. Okay. So right off the bat, um, this, this electric stable gun, how's it going? Uh, appreciate that. This dual, I mean, uh, Trax staple gun has got a super awesome rubber grip right here. If you can see that ribbed right there and ribbed underneath of there also on the belly. How's it going, Alex? Thanks for joining. Um, this is a hard plastic here. How's it going, Sean? But this gripping part all the way from that seam right there, which follows the uh, line right there down, over, and down, all of this all the way up to here is a really good gripping filling rubber i never knew that before until uh i got this in the mail from tools for flooring actually sent this to me for the giveaway so uh is it taller than the dual fast i just now measured it and it's actually a quarter inch shorter the dual fast is seven inches from nose to top this one is six and three quarters so it is a quarter inch shorter make a little bit of a difference uh, than the dual fast, but it is definitely powerful. And one other super awesome thing I wanted to point out um, on the dual fast, you always have this little rough thing right here whenever you slide them in. Um, that really is bothersome after doing that and doing it and doing it, working on a set of steps. That piece right there, let me just get that gun and I'll show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> So this is the dual fast that I've been using for a long time. Um, look right here at that right there. So that is kind of sharp and everything on you. How's it going? T60. So whenever you're pushing that in and stuff like that, and uh, also that little lever right there, and then you push it in, that is actually kind of sharp on your hand right there on your palm. Uh, this is a hard plastic right here, uh, which, I mean, I guess it's okay, but in comparison to the rubber grip of this tracks right here, there really is no comparison. This thing absolutely feels good. I never had one of these in my hand until Tools for Flooring sent this to me. So I'm really psyched up about this gun right here. I can say without a doubt, I will be getting this gun. This will be my next electric tacker. I just love the way it feels. And also as a safety precaution, everybody has done uh, a postry or steps or something like that while there is children uh, wonder how they last I'm not sure um, the the man I actually spoke to about these at the convention Al Gladden said he is really proud to say that this is his product so he's really proud of them they're supposed to be really long lasting and stuff like that um, I don't know more on that whenever I get uh, I get one of my own and I just put it to the test for a long time so only time can tell on stuff like that. Um, it, uh, the weight is, uh, pr actually it feel, does feel a little, uh, feels a little bit heavier than the Duo Fast does. Um, it's got, it's pretty much got the same kind of trigger mechanism, trigger mechanism right here. It's got a little spring right there. Uh, going to have to check them out and I do lots of stairs. Well, that's awesome. I was just about to say something about that um, Everybody's done a postry work with steps or something like that where there's kids in the house And I don't know about you But when I'm doing steps and I let set my staple gun down and I walk outside for something or I go to cut more steps Or whatever the case be I'm always wondering sometimes I'll even unplug it if the kids are going to come and pull the trigger Just out of curiosity, you know how kids are well, this comes with an awesome feature that I've never seen on a staple gun before. It actually has, look right there, it actually has an on and off switch right there. So you don't have to worry about that. You can turn that bad boy off or you can turn it on. So uh, that is pretty awesome when it comes to having little kids running around the house. And probably 
Uh, thank you, Nick. I appreciate that. And just great work. Thank you. I missed all that. Sorry, you know I'm a slow reader. <laughs> I, I, I hate that too because half the comments, I don't even get a chance to read all of them. But the thing, I can't say the most, but because I really, I really like this rubber grip. It's probably my most favorite thing about the whole gun. That just feels so good. It's got just, just look at that. I mean, a perfect, I mean, that just feels so good in your hand. It's I don't know, I just feel comfortable walking around with it, you know what I'm saying? It feels, <laughs> it feels really good. Uh, it's just a perfect fit for my hand. I don't know if it's just my hand in particular or what, but they definitely made that gun comfortable and to feel good. And I'll say this, the second most favorite thing about this gun is uh, this right here, watch this. It's this simple, look here, bam, put your staple in. That lever right there, that is super awesome. And yeah, uh, Floor said something about the safety switch. That's pretty awesome too. Uh, this right here, you actually have to let go of this, grab it like that and pull it out like that and slide it back in. You never have to change positions with your hand. Boom, right there. To release the, for the staples. I love that. That is probably, it is my secret second most favorite feature about this gun and uh, it has a longer extension cord how's it going uh, Mark <clears throat> it has a longer cord on it than any gun I've ever seen before too and everybody knows whenever you're doing steps or anything like that you always need more cord this has got a 12 foot 6 cord on it which is uh, longer like I said that longer than any cord I've ever seen on a staple gun the dual fast is pretty close it comes with a 12 foot cord on it Tracks beat it by six inches. They got an extra six inches there. Um, listen to that. That's awesome. It's actually got that little uh, uh, safety switch get bumped on mid staple all the time. Oh yeah. Dang, it sucks. Uh, I don't know how that would happen with it being back there on the back. I think that's a good location for it because nothing ever gets back there. That's unfortunate to hear that. Um, let's plug it up and check it out and see how, see how it works. Okay, let me grab some staples right here. And I just love that feature right there. And the fact that you put them in like that upside down, this is awesome. I don't, I don't okay, turn it on there. So check this out. Look at that. Let's get down low and look at that right there. Let me turn this around so you can see that. Uh, where we at? Right there. Look at that. That thing is plenty, I mean, plenty powerful enough. Uh, I barely can see the head of the staple in there. And as always, it flickers the lights like all tackers do. It sounds really good. Sounds solid. Sounds really good firing, I'll say that. Um. So, uh, I really don't know what else to say about it other than it feels really good and it feels heavy duty for sure. Uh, wireless would be, oh, snap, I'm sorry, I missed that. Wonder if you could use this for underlayment. I don't think so. I don't think it'd be uh, uh, long enough staples. It only holds, right here's the staples. I'll just show you what. Do you think the Ryobu's wireless crown staples would be good for carpet? I've never seen them. So, if the staple, some people even use um, a, a uh, air tools to do stairs and stuff like that. I've never ever used an air staple gun to do steps or any kind of carpet as far as that goes. I've always used the electric tacker, so I can't give any information on them. So these are only a uh, 9 16 leg right there and a 3 16 crown. So uh, 9 16 is definitely not going to be long enough or big enough to go down and hold your underlayment down. Not saying that it won't go through it because I'm sure it would, but by the time it goes through a quarter inch, you're not gonna hardly have anything to grab. 
The Ryobi is a quarter inch crown, I think. Thank you for that, I appreciate that, Phantom. Uh, tearing up crown staples is not fun. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Uh, for underlayment, I definitely know, because I've had to tear up some underlayment myself. I've used air stapler before, I bought my electric. How do you like that, uh, Sean? Like I said, I have never, uh, that's the best staples, yeah. Trax has uh, got some really good staples. They don't fall apart and stuff like that. Near as bad, I mean, look at this box. It's been, definitely been beat up. I mean, big time, it works good. Hose gets in the way, I hear you on that. They are a bit big, can't hide them in the short carpet. Are you talking about the quarter inch crown? I guess is what you're talking about. So look at that in comparison. Uh, you know, all of them are still whole. Okay, thank you for that, Phantom. All these staples are still in full rows, okay? And this box has been through the ringer and back. This is my personal box of staples. That's why it's all beat up like that. I've had it for a while because I don't do a whole lot of carpet no more. So. Uh, the longer you keep these, usually whenever you have these for a long time, you'll pour out a pile of crumbs rather than full rows of staples like that. Sometimes staples leave marks on the wall because of the head. Have you run into that situation? Uh, staple guns, is that what you're talking about? I think I misread that. Uh, Phantom carpet, spread your nap before shooting the staple. Okay, I hear you. Yeah, um, uh, I have run into that about um turn it around now well thanks for watching i appreciate that uh to my daughter maggie happy birthday maggie um hope you have a wonderful day <laughs> um <clears throat> lost my mind there leather jacket for tacker will stop marks on the wall there you go perfect oh yeah that's what i was actually talking about was the marks on the wall yeah if i'm doing something like that i will usually take uh, something if I notice it marking the wall thank you Sean I appreciate that if I do notice it marking the wall I will take something and stick in between there whether it be a scrap of vinyl or something like that uh, they do that because of the small amount of recoil in the stapler when you're touching the wall I hear you sometimes I know my dual facets just because of the type of metal it is let's let's take it right here I got a wall that needs painted so let's see what happens whenever I rub it on the wall this is my duo fast. Let me rub it on some white. Okay, so look right there. It definitely left a brown streak right there. Use a scrap piece of padding. Yep, that too. I put painter's tape on the face of it. That's a great idea. I'm gonna check out this right here. This is blue, so it's liable to leave a blue streak on the wall. Uh, no, it didn't. It actually just left one little spot right there, and then that's just a I don't want to scuff it too bad because this is somebody's tool. Whoever wins it, let's see here. Okay, where's it at? Okay, so there and there, it's not actually even brown marks. It's just a snap. Stupid alarm's going off on my van. I hit my keys in my pocket while ago. <laughs> I hit my keys in my pocket while ago, and I didn't. I thought I did, but I didn't hear nothing, so I thought it was going to be good. I'm going to do this one again right beside it here with the Duo Fast, since we're talking about marking walls. And let's check it out right here. I'm going to go right beside that one. Okay, yeah, that was just a berry dragon. Look at the difference. So I don't know what it is about these Duo Fast. It might be, see, that's got metal showing right there, so you can definitely tell where it's been used. It might be because the metal is exposed that's leaving those marks that dramatic on the wall right there. I'm gonna do this one more time. Right, right beside that with this one. Okay, there we go. That left a blue mark that time. All right, good night, Sean. Appreciate you tuning in, buddy. I'm not gonna be real long either. Uh, I just wanted to do this. I uh, think it's a coating of, I think it's a coating on the stapler. Uh, what's up, Captain? How's it going, Anthony? Thanks for tuning in there, good house. Uh, cast aluminum, I think, will do that also. I hear you, thank you for that information. I appreciate that, I always appreciate it when people put their own, uh, their two cents in, because I don't, 
I by no means know everything about everything, so I appreciate everybody's help that always puts in effort like that and helps one another out whenever they ask questions. I really do appreciate it. Um, anyway, uh, let's see here. We talked how that one really easily comes apart. Let me do this right fast. I'm going to turn this back around here because I am just about to cut this off here. Turn this up. Okay. So, again, the favorite thing I like about this, the rubber handle. Uh, the on and off switch is definitely cool. It's definitely a nice safety feature whenever you're working around kids and stuff like that. And everybody works around kids in their house and stuff whenever they're doing a carpet. So that's a nice feature that tracks put on their staple gun. And that right there, it probably is my favorite feature about the gun. I just love, love how that does that right there. That is so convenient. And it just works so easy, it just falls open. That is really nice. The grip of it, everything. I just really like this gun. And again, I will be getting this. This will be my next staple gun whenever it comes time to buy one or maybe even beforehand. So we'll see what happens. Because this one right here, my dual pass, has got a screw missing in it. Um, I vibrated a bolt out right there. Thank you, Florin, I appreciate that, buddy. Yeah, it is a much faster reload. You're exactly right. It definitely feels real good doing that too. This one right here, you can see I've lost a uh, bolt right there it has vibrated out of my dual fast. If you can see right through that hole there. So there it is. It's just like that. So I don't know how much longer this is gonna hold up with that bolt being gone. Uh, thanks again, Florian, for that uh, super chat. I really appreciate it. And Nick, thank you for your super chat. I appreciate it. And um, again, someone is going to receive this for Christmas. So you guys be sure to subscribe. You probably already are subscribed. Hit the notification bell. It gives you an option, uh, personalized or all. You're gonna to wanna to hit all so that you can get all of the notifications. You don't wanna be late on a live stream or something like that because I have no idea how I'm gonna do the giveaways. I just know they're gonna be picked at random, whether they be at the front, middle, or end of the videos, I'm not sure. Where can you buy, buy the blue, uh, blue tracks staple gun? Uh, if you have a local supply warehouse around you, uh, here in Tennessee, we've got uh, L. Fishman, um, Southland, um, Snap, I'm sorry, I can't even think right now. Uh, anyway, your flooring, you know what, you might be able to get this. Check tools for flooring. I'm not 100% sure if they are going to have the tracks staple gun or not. Uh, how's it going? Uh, thanks for joining Lizard Lick. I appreciate it, buddy. But uh, your local supply warehouse, whatever it is, wherever you're, you're at, I know out west on the west coast, there's, the big D's are real popular. Um, here, like I said, Southland, L. Fisher, and um, dang it, there's another one right there in Nashville, and I can't think of it for nothing. Uh, anyway, your your supply warehouse, you'll be able to get them because Trax is pretty much all over the place. If I, if I ain't mistaken, I definitely know they are uh, southeastern. I don't know how far north, and I don't know how far west they are, but you can definitely. Uh, dang, I should have looked that up before I. JJ Haynes, there you go. Thank you, I appreciate that. That's another one right there. Thank you, good house. Uh, anyway, I lost my train of thought right there. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you can find them at your local where, uh, supply warehouse. We'll just say that. If not, I'm going to check tools for flooring as soon as I get off here and go back inside. And uh, if they have them, I'll leave a link to it in the description. How about that? And if they don't, I'll try to find them online, or maybe I can ask. Uh, I'll ask Al Gladden. Hey, how do you like the life roof flooring? Yeah, I still love it. I actually talked to my brother just uh, a couple weeks ago, and I installed it in his house uh, about a year ago in Tucson, and he said it is holding up absolutely great. So I was glad to be able to get some feedback on something I installed a year later and it's still holding up, still looks good. It's not easily scratched or anything like that. So I'm definitely still liking the life proof flooring. Um, I'll get a hold of uh, Al Gladden. Thanks Anthony for tuning in there. And 
find out for sure where these can be bought at and I'll leave a link. Uh, was just there, couldn't find it. All right, may have to look more later. All right, well, thank you for that. I appreciate that, Phantom. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll check with uh, Al Gladden and see about, and see about where I can get these at. And uh, I'll let you guys know in the comment section or in the description of this video after I find something out. So if you're still interested in a day or so, come back and look at the, at the comments. And if I do find something out, I'll, uh, I'll pin my comment. That way it'll always be first comment you come to. You don't have to go searching through the comments or anything like that, okay? Uh, anyways, these are awesome. They're really heavy. 12 foot, six cord, on and off safety switch. Super awesome rubber grip. Super easy load and re, uh, reload. I just love them, okay? Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. I've actually got videos uh, uploading to YouTube right now. I thought I would come out here and do this while one was uploading. Uh, I just did one on uh, miters and stuff like that. I had a good one. I had a one the other day. Thanks, fam. Good night. What compressor you use? Just a little old cheapy porter, porter cable is what I use. It's just a little pancake compressor. Uh, let's see here. Right there. That's the compressor I use. So I, uh, I did a video the other day on um, when are you going to do the Cove Base Groover video. Here, uh, within the next, that, that's going to be one of my next ones. As you can see, look here, I'm, I'm not just saying that. I got it sitting out right here, and I've got three different types of Cove Base right there. Some six, four and a half, and four to do the video. So I am getting prepared and ready to do that. Uh, I just did a video, uh, recorded one on that uh, D-cut product, which is also a giveaway. That's a bad little cutter right there. And um, I just did one while I was out here also on miters and how to get them perfect and stuff like that every single time. Can't wait wanting your input on it before I purchase it. I'll go ahead and tell you this. Um, it is absolutely awesome and it's worth the money you don't have to wait on that if you want to buy it because it's it's definitely definitely worth the money okay i'll just say that but anyways i do got one i'll be doing a, a video on it really soon and also i got one to give away for christmas uh, are flooring contractors allowed to work without llc yeah they absolutely are you don't have to be an llc an llc means limited liability company so you don't have to be a corporation to uh, work hey that's great to hear what should I use for the soundproofing on the floor oh, I missed it sorry about that there's a look uh, I have the same compressor it's pretty decent um, soundproofing on the floor I don't really know I actually have a problem with that thing vibrating around so I have to be careful with where I put it and make sure it don't vibrate up against the wall and stuff like that I think is I've had it I don't know how long and it's pretty rankety right now I'll be on the market for a new one here before long um, anyway I'm gonna go check the video out and see how it's coming along and see if it's getting ready uh, I won't be publishing it as soon as it gets done I will I'm gonna try to skip a day in between each video I got a little carried away here because I'm uh, I did one I think three days in a row now and this is two today I've done are you working at this time? No, I'm at home. This is my studio. I'm getting ready. I've been working on all summer long. It's actually getting close enough. I got lights and a heater in it now, and my uh, heat and AC unit will be here tomorrow. So uh, it's going to be good to get that. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, everybody who's here. We please uh, drop a thumbs up. Thank you, Lizard. Look, I appreciate it. Hit that like button if you've got any value whatsoever out of this video i would appreciate it and uh leave in the comments what is your uh what staple gun do you use i would like to know that if you guys don't mind uh what unit are you gonna it's a mini split it's one that hangs on a wall yes sir thumbs up thank you uh the like button down below the videos okay i'd appreciate it lizard look i'm gonna get me a mini oops i turned the wrong way I'm going to get me a mini split unit and I'm going to put right up there in that top back corner 
and it is more than enough to cool this 24 by uh, 13.6 room that I've got here. It's, it's enough to heat and cool one twice this big, so I should not have any problem. Plus, I insulated the crap out of this thing. The walls and the ceiling is really insulated. I was in here earlier doing a video, and I just have that little bitty heater right there running right now, and it's plenty warm in here. And I actually went in there after doing the videos, got them uh, downloaded to my computer, edited it, put it together, and now it's uploading to YouTube right now. And uh, I came back out here and the thing was still warm. So it's really, really uh, insulated good. There's a little towing. Are you just using this name or are you from the TV show? I've had several people ask that. Are you? I'm Bobby. So you're not from the TV show because there's been several people ask that. I don't even know who Lizard Lick Towing is anyway. But Ben Boatwright asked that when he was up here on uh, doing that interview. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And about the Cove Bay Scrooger, it's definitely worth it, okay? And also, I want to do this one more time. These tracks, staple guns, are awesome, okay? And uh, I'm not, I don't, I hope everybody here, I hope everybody on my channel knows that I do not say stuff just to say stuff or just because someone contributed tools. I have let the people know. Uh, okay, cool. Thank you. All right, cool. Got you. Um, I've let all the distributors know that are going to be uh, contributing to the uh, giveaway if they want their stuff um, reviewed and stuff like that I will be giving my honest opinion I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be bought out to lie or lead anybody up to what I don't think is good so everybody knows that that's contributing so I hope you guys just take my word for stuff when I say that they're good or whatever anyway thank you guys for tuning in FBSB's out